So we're here with Trevor, Dakota Lounge, end of the tour. The tour was great. We're almost done here. We're finally in, uh, finally home. Uh, I listened to Lil Wayne and uh, and that keeps you healthy. Yeah, come on, bro. Of course, Lil Wayne is like the best medicine. It's like Vicodin. Just put it on and boom, young money. Uh, but uh, <laughs> then I try to meditate a little bit after listening to Lil Wayne because you can get a little violent after. <laughs> <laughs> I've just listened to too much Lil Wayne. So it cures you because it brings the amps up, so it clears out the bugs, and then yeah. you gotta chill it back and then you down. Gotta, yeah, you gotta, you know, dirty yourself, clean yourself. Dirty yeah. yourself, clean yeah. Totally, totally. We got like a, we got a good amount of time. I mean, we're not doing like a super big tour anytime. We got a couple a week here, maybe a couple weeks there, but you know, we, we're gonna get back in the studio and make a record. So. A record. When I first came out to California, and, uh, I was like 15 or 16, and this is the man right here who, who, who found me my first band and coached me and did all this stuff. Uh, so we got a lot of history, so you know, this, is, this is a pleasure. He's got a wonderful band called The Lion, and this is a song that was inspired by his band. You know, so. It was fun, and then Mr. Dugan here joined us for... Everybody put the light on. Duke. There we go. <laughs> Good. He joined us Dugan's for ten eating. dates, ten, ten or eleven dates, and now he's here at the final show, which I'm stoked about. <laughs> It was funny because this tour it was like really successful, but we were all very sick the whole time. Like I had giardia because I just got back from India. Brutal. Uh, Chris had a he he had a, like a throat problem. Mario had a stomach problem. So we were all suffering horribly, but uh, you know the, the shows were going really good. So it was great.